Uh, rule number 11, do not bother children when they are skateboarding. That's a very specific one there. Yeah, yeah it is. Well, that's, a, that's an essay about masculinity, mostly. You know, I used to watch kids skateboard on St. George Street, which is kind of cool, you mm -hmm. know, because obviously St. George is the dragon slayer. And that's the street I work on, which I think is quite funny. And anyways, these kids used to, you know, they're teenagers, young teenagers. We had these long bar hand railings going down some shallow stairs, but a fairly good flight of them, and they would board slide down these rails. It's crazy. It's <laughs> this concrete that's pebbled. It's like, you don't want to land on that. <laughs> you probably it's, heard a lot of bones oh, crunching oh, over man. the years. Yeah. Watching them, it's like, <laughs> you know, but and they didn't have much protective gear on. And, you know, and eventually this, the university put up things to stop them, you know, from doing this, which I complain about in this chapter for a bunch of reasons. But like, I, I liked watching those kids. I like watching skateboarders do those crazy things because they're trying to become competent. Like, and they're, they're facing danger. They don't want the damn protective gear. Like, sometimes it's just stupidity. It's like, wear a damn helmet, you know? But sometimes it's not. It's like, no, I don't want to wear a helmet. I want to expose myself to this danger. It's not that I'm stupid. Maybe it is. You know, I'm just being careless. Right. But maybe it's not. It's like, no, I, I'm facing the danger. I'm trying to master it. And if you watch kids board slide down like handrails, if you don't think that that's courageous, then you're... And maybe stupid. Those two things aren't so easy to distinguish. Yeah. But it's brave. And when they do it, it's like amazing. It's, it's impossible to do that. You jump in the air, you grab your skateboard, you balance on this stupid rail, you slide for 20 feet. And the, you know, the price for failure is, well, you do the splits on the rail. That's not fun. You know, or you land head first on <laughs> that, the That's not good. That, no, that, no, that's, that's not, not good. Fun. Yeah. No, that's bad. That can change your masculin masculinity like yeah, that. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And so like, and the kids are often shooed away. It's like, wait a sec, they're, they're practicing being courageous. They're practicing m mastering something in the face of danger. You know, and a lot of the rebellious behavior of young men in particular, which is very frowned upon in the schools. It's like, that's toxic masculinity. You know, that horrid, horrid phrase. Mm -hmm. It's like, leave those damn kids alone. Let them... Another thing I referred to in that chapter is about 10 years ago in Toronto, they changed the insurance rules governing the playgrounds. And parents had raised money for these damn playgrounds, so there's nothing wrong with them. They tore them all out, the whole city. Like two weeks before school started, there was nothing but like dirt and gravel. What happened? And they so, weren't rubber enough or they weren't oh God. bouncy enough? Or? They were too unsafe. Who knows? Right. Who there's... knows what? There was nothing wrong with them, you know? Well, then the kids were, I saw the kids on top of the schools, you know, so because they needed some danger. Yeah. And we know that kids on playground equipment, they will push to the limit of their ability. That's what you see, what you like when you go see a sport like gymnastics. Mm -hmm. You know, you think, you go see a gymnast and like the gymnast does a flawless routine and like everybody claps like mad and you know, the... The judges say 9.9 .9 and it's it's and then the next person comes up and they're screwed it's like 9.9 .9. it was basically perfect how can you do better than perfect and then they do it and 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 you can do better than perfect because so the person is like they're on the edge and they go out there and you know you watch them you feel it in your body because you're mimicking them physiologically you see that everything they do is that much farther out into chaos than anything they've ever done, mm -hmm. right? They're pushing themselves to the absolute limit of their ability. And everyone's like this because you tell with every gesture that they're that close to making a mistake. And so they've taken this courageous step beyond their competence mm -hmm. and put everything on the line in that celebrate, in that and then when they land, they land in a way that's unlike perfect. They, yeah. It's perfect plus. And everybody immediately leaps to their feet. And like they get a chill, right? And it's the same chill. Your hair stands on end. It's the same chill that a mouse has when it looks at a wolf. The mouse puffs up. It's mm -hmm. awe. And so what you've just seen is awe-inspiring because you've seen someone courageously move past perfection into the unknown and and not only ennoble themselves more, but to ennoble humanity itself. And up on your feet, it's like, yes! And then it's tens, right? It's tens. Yeah. And they win the gold. And it's like, well, everyone knows what that's like. It's like a great musical performance. And that's, that's being in that place where everything lines up. It's better than perfect. So